And Kim Jong-un called the meeting between the two leaders surreal. And it was. The incredible series of images, videos, and moments you didn't see has everyone talking. We now head to the East Coast to check in with our New York newsroom where Chris Spargo is standing by. Chris, what's happening? Jesse, it started at about 9 p.m. Eastern time with the handshake that was seen around the world. It was the first in a series of handshakes that were televised, but it stood out as a landmark moment. Network and cable news interrupted scheduled programming to report on the event that went into the early morning hours. And cable news stayed on until the morning show started. And while Trump was trying to suppress his natural Trumpness, he was clearly coached not to look too happy in their photo ops. But Trump is Trump. And at one point just before their lunch, North Korea's leader was caught on camera looking baffled at one of his jokes. Take a look. Getting a good picture, everybody, so we look nice and handsome and thin. Beautiful. Nice and now, at one point, Trump called Kim Little Rocket Man, but at the summit, when asked about him, Trump told reporters he, quote, is very talented, smart, and a very worthy, very hard negotiator. But it was retired NBA star Dennis Rodman who made his own headlines by crying in an interview with CNN's Chris Cuomo when he said he received death threats for meeting Kim in North Korea. But I kept my head up high, brother. I knew things were going to change. I knew it. I, I was the only one. I never had no one to hear me. I didn't know one had to see me. But I took those bullets, I took all that. I took everything, everyone came at me, and I'm still standing. And today is a great day for everybody. Singapore, Tokyo, China, everything, it's a great day. While Rodman was hoping to play a role in the negotiations, Trump was quick to say that he was not invited to the summit. Wow, didn't see that one coming. Chris Bargo, thanks.